Hey guys, Triple T here. I get quite a few requests to uh, upload some songs to the YouTube channel. I don't often have time. This morning I made time. Uh, shout out to Ohio Squire for continually requesting if I'd upload a song once in a while. Look, I'm not a great musician. I'm certainly not a great singer, but uh, I love music. And this is one of my favorite songs of all time, written by Ronnie Van Sant. Ronnie Van Sant was born January 15, 1948, in Jacksonville, Florida. And Ronnie lived on the west side of Jacksonville, which is the roughest part of town. They called it Shantytown. And uh, Ronnie was the oldest of six siblings, had two younger brothers, Donnie and Johnny, which are both also musicians. But growing up as the older sibling of six, in a very rough neighborhood. Ronnie was known as a tough guy. He was short, about 5'6", but uh, he didn't take any crap off anybody, and you couldn't when you lived in those kind of neighborhoods. And they spent a lot of time outside the city in the rural areas around Jacksonville, which is North Florida. But for those of you that know, the old saying about Florida is, the farther north you, you go in Florida, the farther north you go, the more southern you are. So that's, them boys was, you know, brothers of Alabama and Georgia and, you know, all the great southern states, Mississippi, Louisiana, but they were northern Florida boys. Not all of them. They took on Ed King as a guitarist later, who was from California. And then after Ed left the band, they took on Steve Gaines which was a little brother of Cassie Gaines, which was one of the backup singers, the female backup singers. And, and Cassie always told Ronnie, you need to get my little brother. Of course, they're, they're big time at this point, Leonard Skinner. Uh, they get so many requests to bring on somebody new and they're always disappointed, but I'm proud to stay. Steve and Cassie Gaines from my old stomping grounds of Miami, Oklahoma. And we lost both Steve and Cassie in the plane crash. But anyway, Ronnie Van Sant was uh, the producer and the writer of 80 to 90 percent of the Leonard Skinner songs. They talked about Ronnie never wrote any lyrics down, and they'd come to him, Ronnie, what are you doing, man? You got to write this down. And Ronnie's answer was, if it ain't worth remembering, it ain't any good. So he had an incredible memory, a mind like a steel trap tough guy and uh, there's an interview with Ronnie you can look up some interviews online there's a few things on YouTube there's a full documentary about the band and the crash unfortunately we lost Ronnie Van Sant at 28 years old I do believe he was 28 at the time of the plane crash but Ronnie's influences were uh, country and western Hank Williams old, old country and western stuff along with the Allman Brothers. The Allman Brothers were basically the pioneers of what we know as Southern Rock. But really, they didn't try to emulate the Allman Brothers. Uh, Ronnie's favorite uh, band was called Free, and uh, they, were, they were British. Shout out to the UK for being Ronnie Van Sant's number one influential band. Some of you might have heard of Free. A lot of you have heard of the, the lead singer of Free name was Paul Rogers. So, uh, Ronnie knew he couldn't sing as good as Paul Rogers, but he emulated that style. In one of the interviews, Ronnie said that one of his favorite songs of all time was a song called All I Can Do Is Write About It. And he wrote this song on the, on the third or fourth album, I think. It was uh, Give Me Back My Bullets album, which I think is one of the best albums Leonard Skinner ever put out, not that they ever put out a bad one, but uh, he put this song on the album, All I Can Do Is Write About It, and he tells the story of how he wrote it. Growing up in Jacksonville in the 50s and 60s, it wasn't a big city, and again, he lived on the west side, far away from downtown in Shantytown, and uh, they spent a lot of time fishing, spent a lot of time in the swamps, enjoying the outdoors, and when he wrote this song, they were building a lot of new stuff around Jacksonville. They were uh, 
putting a bunch of landfill into the swamp areas and building holiday inns and and everything else. So the progress and the city was growing and that's what made him think about writing this song. So Ronnie asked all of us a lot of questions in this song. It's got a lot of questions in it. So I hope I can do it justice and I hope now you understand uh, the meaning behind the song when he says all I can do is write about it because you know, I can't change progress, right? I love my swamp, I love my outdoors, but he's seen everything that's going on around him and he wrote this song and uh, Ronnie said it's one of his favorite songs and it's a very simple song. Um, not simple for me because again I'm not a great musician but I want to try to do it for you and shout out to Ohio Squire and when you hear this song think about the writer right think about him don't think about me think about what he's saying in the song that pertains to his life at that time all right guys hope you enjoy it Take me. 